all right hello everyone hope you're doing well uh, today is going to be a little bit of a different video uh, as you all know my last video I uploaded was the knuckles review the knuckles show review why knuckles is a cinematic disaster I hope you guys enjoyed that video uh, it took a very very long time to make uh, I started the uh, video all the way back in April and I finished it in September so it took a very very long time to make and uh, a lot of stuff was cut well not a lot of stuff but a couple things were cut uh, in the making of the video and usually when I cut stuff out I usually immediately delete it delete it after um, but this one I did not delete because I st I thought it, it still was a very good point but it just never made it to the actual video because I thought at the same time although it was a good point I thought I was just repeating myself uh, and the points were like how Knuckles barely got any character development how you know all that stuff and I thought I was just repeating myself and that's why I just never made it uh, in the video so the context of the clip is me comparing the final battle with the Knuckles show and the first Sonic movie uh, I basically just compare why one works and one does and one doesn't so I hope you guys enjoy this deleted scene I guess of the Knuckles video so here it is hope you enjoy here, let me compare the final battle between the first Sonic movie and Knuckles, and why the first Sonic movie works, and why Knuckles doesn't. First, let me play both clips to show you how similar they are. Knuckles, I hope you can hear that. You taught me how to stand up for myself and fight, and we're stronger than ever now. Because we fight together! A warrior's true strength comes from their heart, and your heart has never been bigger. You fight to honor your family. You fight to protect your friends. And now, you have something new to fight for. A home. He's just a silly little alien. He didn't belong here. That little alien knew more about being human than you ever will. His name was Sonic. This was his home. And he was my friend. This is my power, and I'm not using it to run away anymore. I'm using it to protect my friends. All right, now I will explain why one works and one doesn't. Number one, the buildup. The buildup for the first Sonic movie was done really well. At the very beginning of the film, we see Sonic's backstory and how his only guardian he had was gone protecting him. When he got older, he was living on a town called Green Hill Zone. He was all by himself and he was really lonely to the point where he thought everybody in the town was friends with him. Eventually, he accidentally meets Tom, which he called the Donut Lord. Sonic loses his rings due to Tom shooting him with a tranquilizer. Now with the rings being in San Francisco and Dr. Robotnik trying to capture Sonic, Tom and Sonic team up to not only get Sonic's rings back, but to stop Robotnik. Slowly but surely, Sonic and Tom grow a bond as friends. To the point where after Sonic fights Robotnik and seemingly dies, Robotnik says, He's just a silly little alien. He didn't belong here! Which is where Tom, after all the time he spent with Sonic, said, That little alien knew more about being human than you ever will. His name was Sonic. This was his home. And he was my friend. Which is where Sonic wakes up and him and Tom defeat Robotnik together, showing throughout the film how close they became as friends, which makes the final battle payoff satisfying. Now on to Knuckles. Knuckles goes to find Wade, who's at a bowling alley, to train him. They hang out for a little bit until Knuckles gets captured and Wade tries to save him. Eventually, he somewhat does it and Knuckles and Wade go and visit Wade's family. They have dinner and then somehow Wade gets captured. Wade has a weird musical fever dream and then Knuckles and Wade go to a bowling tournament. Where they meet Wade's father. Then they split up where Wade deals with his family problems and Knuckles sits around watching TV. Then they team up again to fight the buyer's henchmen and save Wade's family. And then they split up AGAIN where Wade competes in a bowling tournament and Knuckles fights the buyer. Eventually, Knuckles gets defeated by the buyer, which Wade finds him. He throws some bowling balls, has a big motivational speech, and then Knuckles wakes up and defeats the buyer. All of this could've worked, but in most of the show, they're either split up, once captured, or is focused on Wade's family, making Sonic 1's final battle satisfying and Knuckles' is disappointing. Number 2, the payoff. What I mean by this is what the main character says after they wake up from a human character saying how much they care about them. So let's start off with Sonic 1. Sonic says, This is my power, and I'm not using it to run away anymore. 
I'm using it to protect my friends. Which makes sense for his character, but also the story in general. In the beginning, Longclaw says, Listen carefully, Sonic. You have a power unlike anything I have ever seen. And that means someone will always want it. The only way to stay safe is to stay hidden. This world is on the far side of the universe. You should be safe there. I don't want to go without you. You must. These rings will be your most important possession. <gasps> if you're ever discovered, use one. Never stop running. So for his entire life, he's just been running to protect himself. But after he meets Tom and all the crazy things that happen to them while they're on adventure, Sonic, after getting defeated by Robotnik, wants to use his power not only for the greater good, but to protect the people he cares about. In the Knuckles show, Knuckles says this, This is my home! Which makes absolutely no sense in the context of the events going on in the show. You see, what they play while Knuckles is down and Wade tries to help him are flashbacks of previous episodes, which if you don't remember, are focused around Wade and his family. And Knuckles was just... You know, he was kind of hanging around, you know, sort of helping Wade with family issues. So him saying, this is my home, makes no sense because he barely had any character development in his own show. If this was Tails saying this due to Knuckles training him and it showed flashbacks of maybe Sonic 2, then yeah, it probably would have made a lot more sense. But the payoff was not only done poorly, but it made no sense at all. Number 3, The Similarities. This one is more just showing the show and film in general than just the final battle. Except one is just a worse version than the other. A CGI character from the Sonic the Hedgehog universe teams up with a human police officer to stop a villain with gadgets. They go on a road trip to get a specific goal and stop the main villain as well. Later down the line, the CGI character fights the villain and then gets defeated, until the human character steps in and says something to the villain that motivates the Sonic character, and defeats the villain and then the movie or show ends. The only difference, like I've said, is that one is done very very well and the other... W was not. Which makes me kind of sad that the show is a worse version of Sonic 1. It's basically if Sonic 1 was focused on Tom and not Sonic. That's the Knuckles show.